uh, special guests here today, uh, Hockey Day in Minnesota. Um, super, uh, super excited, Hockey Day in Minnesota uh, in Shakopee. Um, guys, uh, introduction, uh, introduce yourselves. Um, tell us a little bit about what's uh, what's cooking. All right, uh, Josh Flom, I'm one of the co-chairs for the event uh, uh, being held at Valley Fair uh, this January. Yeah, I'm uh, Kelvin Simon. I serve as the head coach for the boys' high school team. I uh, just finished my sixth season, entering year seven, and uh, really excited for our club to get an opportunity to participate in this event, but more excited for our community to be on full display and to, to get an opportunity to host the event as well. Yeah. Well, and for those of you watching, I told the guys not to wear their skates. <laughs> so I'm six one, yeah. so you can just imagine yeah. what this looks like. I know we've noticed that. Have Scott. You noticed that? Yeah, yeah, we have noticed it's that. But in a hole over we did. We thought it would be fun um, today. Again, so many uh, listeners, obviously, uh, whether playing hockey, whether just a huge fan of hockey, whether your kids play hockey. Um, I've known Kelvin for a, a really long time. Wonderful guy, um, just a great leader. And I'm so excited, um, again, head coach at down at Chacopee's team. Um, what an exciting uh, opportunity for you guys, Hockey Day Minnesota 2025 in Shakopee. How did that come about? Yeah, uh, so it's very exciting. It's a long process. We're in over three years of being assembled as a, as a group and a board. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's, it came with an idea. Someone's like, hey, we should, we should host that. And uh, we started the process of reaching out to the Minnesota Wilds, who uh, is the orchestrator of it. Uh, they gave us some some steps and a path to run on. And uh, so we met for uh, a handful of, of years before we even knew we were going to host the event. And uh, here we are today, a couple months out from, from pulling it off. Yeah. So just so, just so I can wrap my head around. So Hockey Day Minnesota is obviously a celebration of hockey and yep. for a day. But this isn't just one day, is it? No, no, this one's different. Um, you know, they usually extend beyond just the day. The hockey day is the culmination, and it all builds uh, to the Minnesota Wilds game, right, at the XL. They don't play in the outdoor rink we build. Uh, but for this one, we've extended it all the way to Wednesday. So we'll do a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday as kind of a buildup, uh, and then Saturday will be hockey day, and there'll be some, obviously, marquee matchups there. So it's it's inclusive this way. We, we're excited to, to host other communities and have them be a part of the experience uh, alongside us. So the cool thing is, Shakopee, you guys are playing. We, yep, both the boys and the girls will be playing uh, in the week-long events. Uh, Shakopee, uh, our boys team, has the opportunity and privilege to serve in the final game before the Wild, and we'll take on uh, the Crimson from, from Maple Grove and the, the hometown of Brock Faber. Yeah, super uh, super cool. Um, so how's Maple Grove? Very good. They're very good. <laughs> very good. And they've produced a lot of talent over the last few years. Have so they? That's right, yeah. So they'll be a challenge for us, and we're – we're excited for the opportunity to, to try and tackle them. So HockeyDayMN.com is the website. And um, how can people get involved? And again, whether fans, parents, uh, best way to get involved with the day. Um, so the website you just said would probably yeah. be the best spot to go, HockeyDayMN.com. Uh, we are updating that uh, consistently as we build out our plans for yep. the event. Okay. Um, we have some great opportunities for volunteerism uh, for people who just want to get involved and make this event uh, the best thing on earth. Um, we also have some some sponsorship availability. Mm. Um, so if you run a business, own a business, uh, work for a business who you think would benefit from um, the exposure that this event generates, um, reach out to HDM Board at Shockby Hockey. Um, we'd love to talk to you to see if, if we have an opportunity that'll benefit your business. Yeah. All right. We're going to go live on CCO here, too. I just want to give a brief intro before we go live on air as well. Should be a fun, a fun oh. event. Uh, and here we go. We're going back live on air. Welcome back to Act 2 of the Minnesota Real Estate Show. Hey, grateful you're joining us. Hope your weekend's going well. Uh, we know uh, CCO, love our CCO listeners all over the great state of Minnesota. And the great Ma state of Minnesota is a hockey state. And we thought it would be totally uh, fun and appropriate uh, to have on some special guests here for a segment here. We were talking a little bit off air during the social media streaming. We've got the good folks from Hockey Day Minnesota 2025 in Shakopee here today and uh, excited uh, excited to have them with us. Uh, guys, good morning to you. Um, thanks for joining us on the Minnesota Real Estate Show. Tell us a little bit about what's cooking. 
Uh, good morning. Uh, Josh Flom, co-chair of Hockey Day Minnesota Shakopee. Coming up January uh, in Valley Fair in Shakopee, uh, we are hosting a four-day outdoor festival featuring 11 key matchups of high school games um, throughout that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We also have the collegiate game with the U of M women's Gophers taking on Bemidji State. Um, all of the coverage on Saturday will be held by our media partner, Bally Sports North, with wall-to-wall -wall coverage all day long. Um, and we have some amazing matchups and fun activities happening out at Valley Fair throughout the time period. Got to give a nice shout out to a longtime friend, just a wonderful guy, wonderful human, Mr. Calvin Simon. I've known Calvin a long time, and he is the head coach of Shakopee's, uh, Shakopee's high school team and uh, leading the charge for this uh, this day, Hockey Day Minnesota 2025. Calvin, talk about it a little bit. Congratulations to you guys in Shakopee. Um, talk about it and how can people get involved? Yeah, well, thanks, Ryan. Uh, you're too kind. Uh, you're, you're an inspiration and uh, obviously uh, one of the best humans I know. Uh, we're, we're really excited about this opportunity. It's, it's a great thing. Uh, hockey in Minnesota is obviously you know what we do in a, in a Minnesota pastime uh, and for our community to uh, serve as host of Hockey Day is a great honor. Uh, and we're really excited to host many other great communities and teams at this event and really make it a, a winter festival uh, that has some hockey to go with it. So you guys are talking about um, it being outside at Valley Fair. Valley Fair doesn't have a hockey rink. <laughs> so, so what do you, Scott? So, so what do you what do you guys do? Yeah, tell us how does that work? How how is the setup? Uh, so when we found our partner with Valley Fair, uh, we worked with them to create something that cannot be replicated anywhere else in the state. Uh, we're putting up an NHL size rink, a uh, professional rink that will be chilled um, out in the parking lot, surrounded by grandstands that will see thousands of people. That is um, so awesome. And one thing that we are leveraging with Valley Fair's partnership, they've, they're have they coming on 50 years of uh, being open. They've never been open in January. We got them to open. So not only do we have hockey, we are also going to have some magic that Valley Fair can provide. Uh, with rides um, to be open, as well as other fun, exciting things huh. that we don't want to announce yet. That's really cool. Again, and I'm looking at, so the website is HockeyDayMN.com, HockeyDayMN.com. What's cool, as you look at it, um, it shows all the matchups that Calvin was talking about. So many great, uh, great towns, Northfield, Orono, Prior Lake, Eden Prairie, Shakopee, Brainerd, uh, Delano, Lakeville South, Bemidji, uh, I mean, really, and then the Wild, um, all come culminating on uh, on Saturday with the Wild game. Calvin, uh, this has been a long project, a number of years you guys have been working on this. Maybe talk about that. Yeah, this, this all started, at least for us in Shakopee, as an idea to serve as host. How could we get this to be something our community uh, gets to kind of show off and be a part of? And so, uh, we did a little bit of digging and research to figure out what that looks like. We made a phone call uh, to Wayne Peterson from the Wild. He's the director of community relations, another fantastic human, and he's really guided us on what it takes to do this. So, yeah, about three years ago, well, we started the process. Uh, so if you're uh, wondering, hey, how does Hockey Day happen? It, you have to build a group. You have to show uh, some competency and some abilities to pull it off. And then if you're lucky and fortunate, uh, they'll select you. And, and we obviously were, and we're very fortunate about that. Yeah, and again, um, it sounds like uh, Josh, you guys are. There's a lot of ways to get involved. Maybe uh, let let folks know how they could get involved. Well, whether just a fan and coming out, maybe sponsorship, a uh, volunteer. Sounds like uh, a lot of different opportunities. Sure. Yeah, we just put tickets on sale uh, two days ago. Um, so if you're at all excited or want to see what this spectacular event will be about, uh, you can go to hockeydaymn.com and purchase tickets. Right now through the weekend, we have an introductory offer on our season tickets, which includes entry for all four days. Uh, that is $20 off right now. Uh, we also have single day tickets if uh, available. If you're just looking to come out and watch uh, Shakopee play Maple Grove on Saturday or want to see Bemidji State versus the U of M play. Um, so that's one opportunity to get involved is just purchase some tickets and come out and, and have some fun with us. Um, another way, uh, we are always looking for uh, volunteers and sponsors. Uh, those links can go right to HockeyDayMN.com um, and you can sign up so we can uh, engage with you and see where we can uh, offer help or you can offer help to us. I can imagine, Calvin. I mean, how many, I mean, thousands of people probably attending. I mean, even from a sponsorship standpoint for businesses, I would think that would be a home run 
for a business, uh, if you want to get get yourself in front of a lot of people, um, I would think a sponsorship opportunity makes uh, makes sense too. Yeah, absolutely, and it's it's an event to be a part of, right? It's like we said, it's hockey in Minnesota. It's a unique one once in a lifetime type of experience, um, and so to be involved in it from a sponsorship standpoint, there's going to be a ton of visibility and opportunity that comes with that. Uh, and we've got really good sponsors and people involved, and those who are starting to close the loop on all that. So if if someone is out there and interested. Um, you know, now is the time to get involved. Well, the other thing that's cool about it, I mean, you know, we, whether we played hockey or didn't, we, you know, anybody that grew up in Minnesota, we've got friends through all the uh, ages. A lot of times parents that now their kids are playing and they're from a different community. And now you're from Lake, from this person from Shockbee. But everybody kind of knows everybody. I mean, that's kind of how it works. So it's it's a cool experience that way, just to be able to get together. And, oh, I remember in 1991, we played each other in the state high school hockey tournament. Those are the people that are going to be there. Josh, let me ask you, wasn't Mr. Calvin a star player? I mean, let's be honest here. I know he's super modest. He's not only the head coach. This guy was good, wasn't he? Yeah. He's the best that uh, <laughs> Shockbee's produced. He's, uh, he's guiding our kids to a bright future in Shockbee. Yeah, I got to give a special shout out to my dear friend, Mr. Eric Malmberg. Uh, Eric is on the board. Uh, he is on the board, and uh, his uh, his son, Gabe, is a great player. He's a champion for hockey, and I know, uh, Calvin, he's been uh, a big uh, leader with your organization, too. Yeah, that's right. He's he's uh, so important to what we're doing, uh, and he's been a great mentor to me for a very long time, and he's been an ambassador in our community. Uh, great family, great people. Uh, you guys talk about my playing days. Uh, I, I had a lot of good teammates. <laughs> there were also other good players that came along before me uh, that uh, I looked up to, and, uh, and I'm grateful that I got to learn from. So Eric, I, I'm bad with time, but it wasn't that long ago. Eric was playing pretty consistently still. Uh, Eric Malberg. You mean it, just like a playing hockey? Sure. Yeah. Does he still play? Uh, I think he's got some some back issues. So yeah, he's, he's my age. Yeah, he's, 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 he's taking care of himself <laughs> now. That's right. <laughs> Scott, did you play hockey up north? I was I was an army brat and grew up in Texas until fifth grade. So I so I went to East Grand Forks, and I was like, I need to play hockey. So I got all the gear. I got pictures of it. Went out. I had to hold on to a hockey stick. <laughs> to go forward because I'd never been on skates and kids two years younger than me are zipping by me backwards. I'm like, yeah, I think I'll play basketball. Yeah, I, I <laughs> you know what? I do have to give a quick shout out my late father. So growing up in new Prague, again, I'm the youngest of six. We all played hockey in new Prague and we didn't have home ice at all in at the time in new Prague. So we had to drive to Lesseur mm -hmm. and it was like a 25 minute drive. You think in the middle of winter back and forth. And so all the times dad drove us to Lee Sewer. Uh, none of us were my brother. Actually, my brother Tom was a very, very good hockey player. Tim and I were pretty low on the uh, on the on the talent chart, but but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And so, again, I encourage folks um, to to uh, again check out hockeydaymn.com. Last thoughts for folks uh, how they can get involved here at all. Well, I just would real quick say that there is also a Wednesday. So when you go to the website, you'll see the infographic that shows Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This event starts on Wednesday, uh, and there's big matchups to kick off right away, uh, including a big Rosemont game. Um, and so I think, you know, if you want to go to a hockey day and you've never been, this is the one to go to. If you've been to them, you know what this is about, and you'll probably be there. Uh, but I can't encourage you enough to come check it out. Come see what this is about. Um, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that I, I assure you you'll be grateful that you came. Yeah, thank you guys for coming on today on the Minnesota Real Estate Show. We're at the halfway point of the show. Encourage folks to check that out. After the break, we're going to continue the discussion with Ruben Seltzman of Structure Tech. Uh, talk about the multiple offer situation, some featured listings. We've got a lot to a lot to hit today. So again, a big thanks to the guys for coming in here today. This is the Minnesota Real Estate Show. Thanks, folks, for uh, joining us. Great job, guys. Well done. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, and um, yeah, looking forward to a fun event. That's great. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank yeah. you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for being here. I encourage you to check it out again. HockeyDayMN.com. Um, enjoy the day, guys. Enjoy the day. We 